Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, my name is Natasha Alexeva, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Friendly. So do you remember that day when you woke up feeling just completely sick and miserable? Maybe you had a dreaded flu or back pain, or maybe your child got an earache. And so you want to connect to your own pediatrician, and you want to report this for your own peace of mind and get medical advice and medication, but going to see a doctor is just such a drag. And it's also expensive for a lot of people now, especially for people like myself who have high deductible plans. Physicians are not big fans of those visits either. They make very marginal profits on these visits, but it's more than that. See, most organizations right now are trying to switch to what's called value-based care, while still they treat 25 plus patients a day. So they are essentially completely burdened with paperwork. They spend 50% of their time documenting, which really takes time away from what matters their patients. So Friendly is on a mission to solve this fundamental problem. We connect patients to their own physicians through very efficient, cost-effective, and data-driven virtual visits. Here is how it works. Next time you're not feeling well, you'll call the nurse. And she'll ask you a couple qualifying questions, and then after that, she'll give you a choice. She can either schedule an appointment for you in a day or two, or three or five, or ten, or she can switch you to the friendly line, or she can send you a text message with a link. You'll click on the link, you'll specify your symptoms, our engine will then connect to the electronic medical record that your provider is using, and then based on your symptoms and the information that we have in your record, the engine will ask you the right questions. It will guide you through the interview process that essentially mimics patient-doctor interview. It will generate a report at the end and place it back into the EHR. It will then alert the physician, and physician can review it in about 90 seconds and either prescribe medication or, in some rare cases, ask you to come in for a visit. We integrate with all the existing apps and patient portals and all that, so even though we're available on iTunes and Android and all other channels, we don't expect a healthcare organization to launch yet another app. So what really sets us apart from others in this space? There's a few things, but if I am to name one, I would say that's electronic medical record integration. We really got this one down. Our physicians document half the time, they treat more patients, and more importantly, they make more money. So our clients to date have seen streamlined documentation, um, but they also see 60% more patients a day. And we also help them make the diagnosis more accurate. Our system is based on evidence-based guidelines that guide the interview process, and these guidelines get personalized per patient. So each important question is being asked, and all the red flags are always highlighted for the physician. We've been around, this is our first year in operation, and we've already made a splash. We've, we have four large healthcare organizations that have purchased the product after using it for a pilot, and it's 300 providers and it's 400,000 covered lives. Right now, we are conducting pilots with three other major organizations, Scripps Physicians, Mankato Clinic, Colorado's Children's Hospital, and we even have a health plan on the East Coast. It's a major Commonwealth Care Alliance that's interested in co-developing the product with us further and also investing in the company. We are big proponents of partnerships. We won IBM Watson Challenge, we raised a small seed from the biggest integrated delivery mo model in, um, in Michigan, and we are certified partners by several major EMRs. We have a couple competitors, all very well funded. Um, one of them received 17 million in A round, another one received 5 million in A round this year, but their clients are actually switching to our product for two big reasons. The most important one is cost of ownership. Our technology allows healthcare organizations to deploy new protocols without ever involving IT, which is the biggest bottleneck in most organizations. And we also have figured out how, redu how to reduce the customer acquisition cost from an average $22 to almost zero. We do it through our call center integration. 
So we figured out right now we're making money on licensing deals, um, as well as we are converting non-reimbursed uh, phone calls to revenue, and we take a percentage of that new revenue that we're creating. If we continue with our current trajectory, we will be $1.8 million company by the end of next year. And if we continue with that, continue that growth, we will be $11 million company by the end of 2019. We really have the team, we really have it, what it takes to win. Both me and my co-founder had companies before that we built from scratch and exited. We also have very in-depth understanding of healthcare, digital health landscape, and reimbursement. So we're raising right now $1.5 million to, uh, for a, a round funding that really will help us continue working with our existing clients as well as onboard clients that are right now in the pilot stage and will help us establish marketing and sales. And with that, I thank you very much. Again, my name is Natasha. Please stop by and talk to me.